Connect your patch cable to ISP LAN port. Now, plug the other end of your patch cable to your TP-Link Ethernet slot. Connect your laptop to your new TP-Link router. You can find the SSID and Wi-Fi password at the back sticker of your TP-Link router. Once connected, go to CMD command prompt. Find the default gateway, your assigned default gateway is your router IP address. Go back to your internet browser and type the IP address. Select your language then click next. The default username is, admin, and the default password is, admin. Go to, Wireless Security, and change the security password, then click Save. You will be disconnected. Go to Wireless Adapter, right-click and forgot the connection, and reconnect again, using your new password. You will be disconnected after saving. You need Go back to your wireless configuration, and change your Wi-Fi name. Also change your region. Save. You will be disconnected. You will be disconnected after saving. You need to reconnect to your new Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi now is secure. Change your router default password. Go to System Tools, then Password. You will be going to log out after you save, then re-log in again using your new password. Now we are going to download the TP-Link Tether apps. After download, open your Tether apps, and register your email address. Enter your email address, and desired password. Open your email address, and activate your TP-Link registration. Activation successful. Select your device. Log in your router username and password. You can see the connected clients. Select client that you want to block the connection. You 
can block and unblock the device from here. Please be reminded that blocked devices will not be able to connect to the internet anymore. You can change your password and Wi-Fi name from here. Click save if you want to change your Wi-Fi name or password. You will be disconnected after saving. You need to reconnect to your new Wi-Fi name or password. Now your Wi-Fi is secured and controlled by you. But don't forget to disable your Wi-Fi from your ISP router.